Laura, how are you? Hi, good, thanks. It's a pleasure to have you uh, for, uh, for some minutes uh, before your first mission. How do you feel about it? Uh, overall, just very excited. Um, looking forward to launch and to just getting on board and doing the mission. Like overall, I just feel very ready and also very excited. Can you believe that uh, is your dream coming true? <laughs> it's hard. I'd say it's pretty surreal right now. Are you busy? Are you done with training or you still have to get to some more training uh, in, in Moscow? Um, I, so I still have more training to do. Um, I actually have two more weeks here in Houston and all of those days are full between now and when I leave next Friday. And then once I get to uh, Moscow to Star City, um, I'll have three weeks of training there. That includes um, the final exams that we'll take on Soyuz and on Space Station before launch. Have you, after planning this moment for so many years, ha, have you ever considered that your first trip to space would be on a Soyuz? <laughs> um, no, I mean, I like when we got selected, um, we were prim we were only flying Soyuz to space station, so I knew there was a, definitely a possibility. But um, I was very excited when I got assigned to Soyuz, um, just because the international cooperation aspect of the International Space Station is. Uh, one of my favorite parts about space exploration. And so getting to uh, work with our partners in that capacity is definitely a highlight for me. So you, you've you been selected as, a, as an astronaut candidate in 2017 mm -hmm. uh, as a turtle. Uh, mm -hmm. And then you train it out like two years in order to become an astronaut? Yes, our basic training is two years long. Um, and, and that's, oh, go but, ahead. And you've been training since 2021 uh, to for this mission, for this particular mission? Correct. Yeah, a little over two years. I, I have some... Um, so, so what's the difference between being trained for becoming an astronaut and mm -hmm. this, th the last two years that you've been training for this particular mission? I, I can imagine that uh, mostly very dedicated to the experiments or the different aspects of the station, or it's very similar to, to becoming an astronaut? Um, that's a great question. And so a lot of it is actually very similar to our basic training um, as astronaut candidates. So in those first two years of training, we study the space station system. So we have a really good kind of foundational knowledge of space station. And then when we get assigned, um, one of the first things that we do is, is revisit um, our, you know, all of those systems to see if there's any gaps in our knowledge or anything that we want to dig deeper into. Um, and then from there, we do um, still a lot of training, but it becomes a little bit more integrated. And so we do a lot of like joint emergency training uh, with our crews and with the other crews that we're going to be on board with, um, because it's one thing, you know, when you just have one person working through a procedure, but it's a lot different when you have, um, when it's you and six other people, that coordination, right. coordination between the crews becomes really important. So that's definitely a focus of our assigned crew training. We see you here putting your EVA suits. Uh, uh, and I can imagine that after with your career in the um, um, in the underwater world, <laughs> is this is this more difficult or it's like, oh, I've got this? Um, well, it's definitely working in the spacesuit is a lot more difficult because uh, I'm the propulsion for the spacesuit. Um, I don't have thrusters to propel me around. But it is funny because a lot of the some of the experience that I have um, just working with robotic vehicles under the water, um, you always kind of have to be aware of where you are and you know what your tethers and tools are doing, and it's kind of the same mindset in the spacesuit. Are you? Is there a chance that you're going to do an EVA during your mission, your six months in space? Uh, yes. So we have two EVAs. We have two spacewalks scheduled for our mission. Uh, we don't have flight assignments for those yet, but. Um, there are three of us who are spacewalk qualified, and so we're looking forward to supporting those, um, whether it's inside or outside. Um, what are you, besides those CVAs, which is, I, I imagine that for a, for a, a person going to space is, is the maximum aspiration, mm -hmm. uh, is there any other particular activity? You're, I know you're going to be super busy, but any particular experiment that you're looking forward to? Um, yes, yeah, so there's a lot of science experiments uh, that we'll get to work on on board, as you know. Um, so another thing that we do, uh, so we do a lot of science and we're also the technicians and repairmen of space station. And um, that's something I really enjoy doing, you know, figuring out why something isn't working and then fixing it, whether it's a piece of science equipment or a subsystem on space station. And so that's one thing I'm really looking forward to is 
uh, when there's something going wrong is busting out the toolbox and trying to fix it. You know, uh, I was watching some of the uh, of the training and, and the group photos of your 2017 uh, uh, selection, and it's uh, it's so opposite to when you see photos of the astronauts in the early 60s, when you see, and they're like a superhuman and superheroes, and says, no, there's no way I'm going to get there. And then, and then, you, they, then you see something like this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it's like, uh, okay, uh, this is a completely different environment. I can, I don't know, I can relate with them. It's like, uh, I have this feeling that the people say, hey, I can be one of them. Do you feel the same from the inside? Uh, definitely. I mean, I, I love being a part of the astronaut office, um, partly just because in the end, it is just a bunch of humans and we all have strengths and weaknesses. Um, you know, we all we all do sometimes dumb things, make jokes, and it is just a really lovely group of people um, who are all just trying to do our best job every day. And that that's a, a great inspiration for a younger generation. It's like, yeah, I can do that. So uh, uh, thank you for that. So, Laura, I know that you're super busy. Thank you so much for your time and uh, good luck on the mission. And I hope we can speak soon, maybe when you're in space. Who knows? Perhaps. That would be wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.